recently received a few requests from people who had questions about connecting the Neuro mobile app to the Ventress Dual Reverb or, or any of our One Series pedals for that matter. So the Neuro mobile app um, right here, this is a free download for both iOS and Android devices. And you can find it by searching for Source Audio Neuro in either the App Store or Google Play. Uh, and the app is, a, it's a powerful tool that allows you to customize your sounds by offering an expansive set of parameters and additional effect engines. So if you're looking for instructions on how to create and save presets, check out our Navigating the Neuro Mobile app and Ventress Dual Reverb blog and video uh, on our website. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Okay, so the first thing we need to do after downloading the app is create an account. It's necessary to create user accounts because you'll wanna be able to save presets in your personal cloud-based preset library. We also require personal accounts so that we can give proper credit to anybody who publishes a preset and makes it available to other One Series pedal owners. So here we go. Once your account is set up, you can go ahead and open up the app. You're gonna to wanna to grab a neuro cable, which is the eighth inch to quarter inch TRS cable that comes with every one series pedal. You connect that cable from the headphone jack on your device to input two on the pedal. I'm using a Ventress dual reverb in this video, but it's the same hookup for all the one series pedals. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is turn the volume all the way up on your phone. In most cases, this is all there is to connecting the app to the pedal. Uh, you'll notice that anytime I make an adjustment here on the app, the control LED at the top of the pedal will blink. The control LED is a very good indicator of whether or not your pedal is properly receiving neural messages. Now we found that iPhones and iPads will usually work right away, but some Android devices can be a bit trickier due to hardware differences from one phone to the next. So I will tell you that we are working on a special calibrate function that will automatically detect what kind of uh, Android device you're using and set your settings up to work with the pedal. Uh, but for now, we have this list of troubleshooting options that uh, we can go through. The first one is to check your connections. It may sound a little bit silly, but just make sure that the cable is plugged all the way into the phone and the pedal. Uh, a lot of times a phone case can prevent the neural cable from plugging all the way into your phone. Number two, volume level. So if you've turned the volume all the way up on your phone and it still doesn't work, try clicking down the volume one click at a time and test for connectivity after each click. We found some Android devices that require the volume to be turned down as much as uh, 40%, uh, particularly in, in Europe where audio regulations are a little different than here in the US. Number three, invert the audio output. On some Android devices, the left and right audio channels are switched around so that right is left and left is right. Uh, we've also found devices that reverse the phase of the headphone audio. Uh, these audio discrepancies can affect how the pedal receives neuro messages. To uh, fix this, we added some signal inversion switches at the bottom of the page. So to get there, you need to go to the pedal selection carousel and select the eye icon on the top left corner of the screen. This opens the about page. You scroll to the bottom of this page and you will see the invert audio output and invert audio phase switches. Just hit those switches one at a time and see if they restore communication. You will also wanna test these configurations at different phone output levels like I showed you in the last section. Number four, test the phone's output. So if you're still having problems, you should test the phone's output. Try unplugging the neural cable from the phone and moving something in the sound editor. If you hear a burst of noise after moving a slider, you know that the app is working. You should also try plugging in headphones to the jack to assure the output itself is sending signal. Uh, don't turn the volume up too loud or put the headphones directly on your ears when performing this test because it can be quite loud. So after you've plugged in the headphones, move one of the sliders and make sure that you do hear a sound burst coming from the right channel of the headphones. Number five, audio filtering. 
Uh, it's also possible with some Android devices that there is some kind of audio effect or filtering applied to the headphone output. You'll need to go into your device's audio settings and make sure there is nothing like uh, 3DFI, they call it, or bass boost uh, applied to the phone's output. And finally, there's hardware problems. You know, there is always the possibility that there is an actual problem with the neuro cable or the pedal itself. If you have another neuro cable available, try using it. Um, but if none of these solutions help, you can email us at contact at sourceaudio.net and we'll try to figure out a solution or if necessary, fix your pedal here in our office. So one more thing, I wanna clear up a little confusion about the Neuro mobile app. Unlike when you are editing with the Neuro desktop editor, communication between the Neuro mobile app and the pedal is one way. The Neuro desktop editor is different because it connects to the pedal via a USB cable and that gives it two-way communication, meaning that all the settings in your pedal will be reflected in the sound editor. So with one-way communication, uh, like in the Neuro, between the Neuro mobile app and your pedal, the sound editor does not always reflect the settings on the pedal. So if you plug the mobile app into a pedal, it's only after you've moved a parameter on the app that that parameter correctly reflects what you're hearing. Uh, it works like a TV's remote control in the sense that you can use a remote to change settings on your TV, but the remote itself doesn't actually tell you where things are set on the TV. However, if you hit the send all button on the bottom right corner of the NeuroMobile app sound editor, all the settings on the phone will get instantly blasted to the pedal. So for the remainder of that session, as long as you work only in the editor, the sliders will indicate the pedal settings. So that is all. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. If there are any unanswered questions, please feel free to post them in the video comment section below or email us at contact at sourceaudio.net. For additional info on our pedals or the NeuroMobile app, you can visit our website, sourceaudio.net. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.